Hi everybody, welcome back uh, to Dutch Shed Builds. My name is Jerome, and this is all about this Suzuki GS450 Cafe Raver. So uh, welcome back uh, to my series um, and today uh, I'm going to tackle the license plate. I'm waiting on parts so uh, it gives me time to uh, try something with this. Now I don't like it mounted on the back. Uh, I think every, all the work I put in the back uh, goes to waste then. It'd be like that. You could do it here seen uh, videos on that with like a construction around the rear wheel mounting it like that but i really don't like that either maybe if i had to i would do that but the thing i want to go for is placing it here on the back near the rear shock on the side of the brake um and I just need to make something to mount it on the same mount as where the shock is. So I've been uh, going around the shed, seeing uh, stuff I've got, I've got pieces like this, which look pretty promising. They came from an old bed, I think, bed frame. So if I modify that, I might be able to, uh, to get this working. So I don't like drilling this hole through over here, you um, can see that, make it bigger, go over this one and that will give me a nice strong, so this is pretty thick steel, so uh, that will hold it in place and somehow mount this thing on it. I don't even know if this is the correct license plate, but we'll see. But yeah, that's today's video, so I'm just going to be fiddling around with it. Maybe it won't come out as we as I would have liked, so uh, Let's just try and see how far I get with the uh, stuff laying around here. So this uh, bracket welds on the wrong side. So the first thing I had to do was uh, put in some new welds. And after that, I could cut away the, uh, the bits that I didn't need it. So that was the first thing I did. So I cut away the bits that I didn't need and after that I uh, cleaned up the bracket so it was nice and flush. After that I was able to uh, slide it right over the rear mounting point of the uh, shock. To keep the bracket in place and uh, not wiggle about. I decided to put some tabs on the back uh, so it would stay in position. So I marked it off and uh, so one point was just a tab which I would cut out and bend, and the other tab I would uh, weld on.
so I did a test fit to see if my uh, ID worked, and it actually worked really good. It was nice and tight, and uh, we'll keep it in place. So I cleaned up the welds, and this is what I came up with, the two tabs that would hold it in place. As you can see, it fits really nice. So I was pretty happy with that. I was concerned that maybe the, uh, the shock wouldn't fit anymore, but um, as you can see, it came out really nice. It was a perfect fit. So this is going to be the back plate for the uh, license plate. It's an old light fixture. I'm going to put a tab on here where I can mount the uh, the light. So the first thing I did was to uh, cut out the, uh, the basic shape, which was uh, easily done. And that's what's uh, left over from the uh, light fixture. So we'll save that. Next thing I did was uh, cut the sides off. I left a small piece uh, sticking out so I could fold it over and uh, give the license plate a bit more strength. So I just uh, hammered it down uh, to make it nice and flat. And as you can see, Looks really great and gives a bit more strength. And uh, yeah, I think they did, did the job uh, really good. So, the next part is to uh, to bend the, uh, the tab where the light will go. So, here I'm bending it over, but later I'm just gonna make it straight. We'll see that later on. So uh, just uh, drilling in the holes to uh, to fix the light. And as I was doing it, sticking out really far back, and it just didn't look really great. So I was just thinking about how I'm going to fix that, and I decided to uh, bend a bit of old steel and I welded it in place. Forgot to uh, record that, but as you can see, it worked. So this little pipe is also uh, something I left over. This was I was gonna use to uh, protect the wires. And I cleaned the, the paint off so I could weld it, as you can see. So this is where the, uh, the, the wires will go and they will be uh, protected. Next up was uh, welding in this uh, small scrap piece at the back to uh, really protect the, uh, the light. And as you can see, I welded it in place and then uh, grinded it off. And uh, I'm still a novice at this, but I think it came out really nice. So um, that is back plate.
So I decided to uh, not weld the back plate to the uh, bracket because then I might be able to switch it off or uh, easily swap it if it's broken or anything without having to uh, do any major work. So uh, that's the main reason I use the, these bolts to uh, yeah, easily fix it. The last holes of the drilling are those to uh, hold the license plate, and then uh, well, all we need to put back in is the light. So, pretty happy with that, made from scrap. It's not too bad, really. So, that's today's video. Um, the license plate, I think it came out really nice. Better than I, uh, than I thought initially. So, um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it, but for now, I think it's fine. Gonna figure out a way to, uh, get these wires up uh, up to the battery uh, box up here. But that's, uh, that's doable, I think. So for now, I think this is fine. If this isn't completely legal or there's something wrong with it, um, I think I'm gonna go with the option at the back of the, uh, of the wheel. But my parts came in so I can finally, finally, finally finish the engine. So uh, that is for next video, I'm gonna finish that. For now, uh, that was it. If you like what you saw, please subscribe to the channel. You can also follow me on my Instagram or my Twitter. Uh, please do. Um, and uh, well, that's it for this video. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.